Hey, today I thought I'd show you my um, Whisper Beacon. It'll do CW and QRSS, but at the moment I've got it using uh, Whisper mode only. I'm using the uh, WSPR version 2 by K1JT. And you can see there it's picking up every t every two minutes, um, one one second past the um, even minute, it's sending out the uh, weak signal uh, propagation um, FSK information. Uh, whisper mode is basically um, four tone FSK um, with an algorithm. With error correction, so it sends out your call sign and your locator, as can be seen there. Um, you, you can see there I've got um, some feedback from my Arduino board, giving the um, longitude, latitude, longitude, and the actual time. And you can see I've actually programmed it to uh, transmit at one second past. So it was all minutes or even. So see that one there, and uh, it goes to one second minute past, and it transmits and it carries on um, to about 53 seconds after the odd minute. It's about 100. I think the spec says about 110.6 seconds for a um, a full transmit. Of that whisper beacon with that information. So as you can see, I'm picking my own signal up here. I'm not using any amplifiers. This is this is just plug, plugged into uh, a signal link this software on the IC7000. So every couple of minutes, we get a 16 dB signal to noise ratio. With a uh, that DT there is the um, drift in time. So it's reasonably stable. It, you know, as long as we're within two seconds, the spec works. Um, the frequency is locked on very well. At, um, we're testing this on 80 meters at the moment, so um, 3.594020 with no drift. It's um, it's pretty perfect for that, and it's been picked up every time. Um, we've got the Arduino sketch running in the background. Um, that's on screen there. That's the AD9850 board that I'm driving from the Arduino with its pinouts and so on. Um, you can pick those boards up for about £6.50. That's a direct digital synthesizer which will, um, I think, it transmits on sort of naught to um, you know, very low frequency all the way up to 60 meg. Uh, so that's software controllable. Um, so that's what's generating the tones that you can hear in the background that are being picked up on the IC7000. Um, that's just a pin out that I've got on screen because I'm hoping to put this onto an app Mega 168 or 328p even. It's the same pin out as the 168. Um, you'll see what I mean. Let's, let's go to the, uh, the thing itself. So There's the Arduino. It's running what we call a sketch. So I've, I've, I've found snippets are here, there, and everywhere around the internet. Not not everything I wanted. Um, so I've modified things and put put things together so that that's capable of driving the um, the AD9850 direct digital synthesizer there, which can, uh, you know it can, that can be anything from a basic signal generator to uh, something that's modulating tones, which I'm doing now with the four. Tone FSK for, for Whisper. Um, I've made it do CW. Um, my program that I've written will do CW, but I've just disabled that part for the moment. It'll do QRSS, which is obviously very slow Morse. I've had that working. Um, now, the timing was bad. Um, the it's got a 16 meg crystal. You can see it there on the Arduino. You can't. It's going out of focus, but the crystal's there in the in the middle. Um, that tends to drift, I think. Um, I was counting the milliseconds, and as per whisper spec, saying right, transmit one second after the even minute, 
and if I left it on all day it would drift out quite considerably and it was unmanageable um, so that bit there you can see uh, just above the AD9850 is a Skylab GPS module which I picked up for about £16.75 free delivery took a while to come but um, that came with some sample code which I put in into my Arduino sketch unfortunately it didn't work uh, what, what they don't tell you is on the Arduino Uno you can't use pins uh, um, 2 and 3 you've got to use 3 and 10 or, or other pins but 2 and 3 would not work um, it picks up I think it's the, the protocols N NMEA um, it picks up the NMEA serial data from the GPS unit which uh, as you can see on the screen there it's giving long latitude, longitude and time so every second the, um, the atomic clocks on the GPS satellites are, are pulsing a signal out giving the uh, exact date and time so I'm just making use of that time information as to when to uh, fire the whisper beacon um, so when that's all finished I'm hoping to use this, this is a little programmer board, prototype board I've made you can see I've already got a, a 328p chip in there uh, I made a little JTAG connector for the um, in-circuit serial programmer connections to that chip put a little crystal on there um, and I've got this thing here which is a tiny um, oh, sorry, USB tiny AVR programmer so I'm using a piece of so software, well I will be eventually, to take everything that's been prototyped here I'm going to blow it onto that chip using uh, the AVR dude programming software with the, this AVR programmer and make a dedicated board and it'll all come off the breadboard um, so I'm quite happy that, yep, yeah, it's decoding um, the only thing I'm short of now is an HF um, amplifier what I want to do is, you can see I'm taking the output there into the SO uh, into the SO259 from that pin there follow it through to ground um, what I want to do is take the output and put it into some filtering um, um, some sort of low pass filter some sort of HF amplifier that's got enough gain to give the output from the AD9850 um, to drive the beacon at around, I don't know, I only want about 200 milliwatts as a beacon just for test purposes, use it for propagation testing to see when the 10 meter band is open maybe, maybe I'll make it work on 10 meters I don't see the point of making it work on 80 because 80 is so noisy around here so, you know, the, the idea being is once that's running maybe with a 200 milliwatt amplifier this will be sat um, well th th this will be sat so elsewhere in the world on other people's computers rigged up to their radio monitoring for, for whisper beacons and they'll have that upload spots there ticked and um, that gets um, any, any captured data anyone that's heard um, and takes all that information and uploads it onto the internet uh, once on the internet you can go onto the WSPR.net site and you can have a look at a propagation map to see um, where monitoring stations actually heard so it's, it's brilliant for seeing when a band actually opens so this that's the whole idea anyway is to, uh, to take this lot away from my uh, computer and uh, just leave it running very low power whisper beacon um, as I say I'm struggling to find HF um, amplifier designs probably probably need a couple of transistors and heat sinks and coils and toroids and caps and so on uh, anyone who's got any ideas for uh, a 10 meter amplifier and any other bands for the AD9850 output to give me anywhere between 200 milliwatts and 500 I would appreciate um, them um, leaving a comment or leaving uh, a message um, for me 
that would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, so that's the, uh, the start of the GPS locked or time locked um, beacon for WSPR. Um, again, I've, it'll do CW, it'll send out a CW beacon maybe every 15 minutes if I choose to make it do that, but right now I've just got it running on this uh, uh, test cycle every two minutes on the even minute, one second past. Uh, so there we go. Please feel uh, free to comment, G8HCB.